Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a candy cane Godzilla. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our candy cane Godzilla, we're going to begin right here at the face. So I'm going to start by drawing a little line that's just going to kind of go down and that's going to curve back. Next we're going to make a little line that's going to go down and up. And then I'm going to add a couple little lines underneath here. Next I'm going to add a couple little curved lines. And we're going to make a line that's going to go out and then back in. Next we're going to make a line that's going to go up and then it's going to come down. And we're just going to repeat this a couple times. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go out and then it's going to come down. With another little line that's going to come down farther. Next we're going to draw a little line that's going to come across and it's going to go up a little bit. We're going to make a line that's going to go up and then it's going to come down. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go down, it's going to go over and then up. And we're going to make lines going to go over, and then we're going to curve it around for the jaw. Right here, I'm going to bring this line down, and we're going to bring another little line down here. Next, you want to bring this line back, and then we're going to add some extra little curved lines in here for part of the eye. Then we're going to draw a couple little lines right back here. Starting here, we're going to make a couple little lines that are just going to kind of curve around for the neck. Then right here, we're going to make lines going to go out, and then it's going to come down here. Make a little line that's going to curve, and we're going to make some lines that just kind of come down, and they're going to come back up for some points. And we're going to bring this line up, and we're going to curve it in. And we're going to bring this line up. Next, we're going to make a line that's going to come down, and we're going to bring it down to here. And then we're going to bring a line that's going to curve down. Next, we're going to bring this line down. We're going to add another little line that comes down and up for a point. And then we're going to repeat this a couple more times. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out. And then it's going to angle down like this. We're going to draw a line that's going to come down to a point and then back. Another line that's going to come out to a point and down. And we're going to come back up. Then we'll add another little point and then bring it up. Right here we'll make a line that comes out and then we're going to curve it up. Then starting here we're going to bring this line in, a couple little curves, and we're going to bring it up. And we're going to curve it up here. Now starting here, we're going to curve this line down to here, the first tail. We're going to bring it out here, and then we're just going to kind of swing it around. I'm going to round this off, and then I'm going to slowly just follow this along and get it bigger and bigger as it comes back here. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down, and then we're going to bring it in. Make a line that's going to come down to a point and back, and another one's going to come down to a point and back. We're going to bring this line up, 
and bring it over. And we're going to bring this line down to here. Now starting here, we're going to draw a line. It's going to come down and over for the chest, and another one here. And then we're going to bring a long kind of broken line that comes down here for the tail. I'm going to make some little broken lines that just kind of come across here for some details on the body. I'm going to make some long broken lines down here and a couple more lines up here. Next we're just going to make some kind of curved lines across and some more kind of broken lines here. We'll add some curved lines onto the toes with some extra little lines. Then I'm just going to add some extra little kind of broken lines right across here. And some little curved lines. And a couple little extra lines up here. I'm also going to add a little line down here as well. Now for the spikes, we just want to add some kind of long, pointed, jagged spikes coming on here. So we're just going to add some different pointed spikes all around here. I want to make some a little bit smaller back here. And we're just going to kind of add some right along here as well. Then we're going to add just some little broken lines. They're just going to kind of curve across here. I'm going to add one more kind of pointed set of spikes right over here. I'm also going to add a couple little extra rows of lines coming down here, and I'm going to bring some of these lines down as well. I'm also going to bring some lines right along the face a little bit more, and a few little lines right around the mouth and everything. And there you go, there's your drawing of your Godzilla. And like I said, I'm going to kind of turn this into like a candy cane style Godzilla. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here with my markers and when I color I'm going to leave him mostly white and then I'm going to add some different kind of red stripes on here going in different directions. So I'm just going to kind of be bringing these stripes kind of down and around to kind of create like that candy cane effect. So we're going to be making just some different little stripes all around the body like that. But there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.